Since the killing of the elephant, a number of self-proclaimed environmentalists and individuals came out on social media expressing their disapprovals of the ministry's action. According to these individuals, the elephant, which has since been identified as Fortrekker, was the main bull in what is known in some circles as Desert Elephant Group. According to the Nature Conservation Amendment Act, the Elephant Management Plan, National Policy on Community-Based Natural Resource Management, and the Revised National Policy on Human-Wildlife Conflict Management, the particular elephant in question was declared a problem. Following lengthy investigation and careful monitoring, the ministry says it was necessary to kill it. The ministry's executive director, Teofelus Ngitila, says Fort Trekker caused extensive damage to people's properties and water infrastructure to the extent that the conflict became unbearable to the communities. In the end, the ministry decided to hire a trophy hunter to kill it, putting some money into the ministry's coffers. Some individuals and NGOs accused the ministry of practicing unsustainable conservation, especially towards desert elephants. But the ministry says Namibia is only inhabited by elephants and those referring to them as desert elephants are doing so for tourism attraction. The ministry opposes those naming wild animals, saying this may trigger emotional attachment to a certain or specific animal which could overshadow the judgment in wildlife conservation. The Dara's constituency in Erongo region has been the battleground for human wildlife conflict, particularly elephants. And as a way to mitigate the situation, the ministry launched a $4 million project to upgrade water infrastructure for communities and also to provide alternative water points for elephants in the area. Juliana Fuka, NBC News, Vantuk.